22 cities, thousands of competitors, $50,000 on the line. This is the 2018 Top Golf Tour Championship. Hello and welcome everybody to wonderful Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Shane Bacon, and I'm excited to be joined by no stranger to the tour, professional golfer, Kenzie O'Connell. Thanks, Shane. It's a pleasure to be here. This is going to be a lot of fun. And more than just fun, one team will walk away from Las Vegas with 50,000 bucks and the title of Top Golf Tour champion. It is a perfect day for some golf here in Las Vegas as our 22 regional champions have descended here at Top Golf Las Vegas. We've got Troy Mullins down on the range. Troy, how's it going down there? Hey, Shane and Kenzie. Yes, the players are here. They've been warming up for about an hour. They are pumped to be here. I'm pretty excited, and I think they are ready to show us what they've got. As the players get warmed up, they've got their eyes on one target. That's Team Kansas City. Last year's tour champions could easily crush their hopes of a win as this powerhouse team tries to claim back-to-back -back victories. All right, I am here with returning champs, Chris and Kevin. Okay, so question on everyone's mind. What did you guys do with the money? I refinished our basement at our house. Man cave? Man cave, yes. Uh, I actually invested it and bought a launch monitor. Did you put it in his basement? I did not, but I'm, I might. This is definitely a team to watch. Shane and Kenzie, back to you. And as we look at this field, Kenzie, any predictions going forward? I do have some predictions. I mean, Kansas City's back from last year, and they dominated their region. I think that they could maybe do a repeat. I also have Chicago in the field, and they're playing awesome. They're two tour players, so, I mean, do you have any predictions? Well, if somebody's going to upset KC, as we mentioned, they won here last year. I like Austin. They got a couple of ex-pros that had really, really play. And then, of course, I got to go with my voice from Phoenix, Marty Jertson. He's played major championships. He's here at the Top Golf Tour hoping to advance. We've got big names, great players, and a whole lot of fun. But now, let me explain a little bit about how the championship is going to work this year. In round one, we have 23 teams competing in two games of top contender elite. The top four teams, those with the highest cumulative score, will automatically move on to the quarterfinals. Only four out of 23 teams advance. They need to come out of the gates playing their best golf. And these are some of the best top golf competitors in the world. So you got to bring your A game if you're going to be doing this. And good news if you don't, the remaining 19 teams, well, they'll get one more shot in round two. More on that later as it's time to get back out to the action. Round one is officially underway. The game for round one is top contender elite. Teams get 20 balls to hit into each of the major targets, starting with the first four into the green, then the next four into the brown, then blue, white, and the trench targets. Double points awarded for successful shots into the designated targets, and ball 20 is worth triple points if it goes into the brown, blue, white, or trench. This is the party bay. <laughs> Vamos! Oh, nice. I'm here with the boys from Atlanta. Uh, you guys are starting early, I see. This is the key to the game right here, the drink of mimosas. You have to go like, mm -hmm. It's delicious. It worked before. We'll see if it works today. All right, you heard it here. Let's see if it works. Well, you can tell some teams are a fan of the mimosas, and another team whose luck is on the upswing is Team Salt Lake City. Last year, they traveled across the country from regional to regional trying to make the cut, but always fell short and earning the nickname the lovable losers, Troy is down with them now. Ryan and Andy, whom I feel bad calling the lovable losers. You should feel bad. <laughs> We're winners now. We finally made it. We're the lovable winners now. Come on. Okay. So last year we tried at four venues and couldn't make it. So to be back now is, you know, it's a, a, a major success story. That's right. Yeah. We should be making a big deal out of this. Yeah. All right, you heard it from them. The lovable losers are back. The lovable winners now are going to take home the 50 grand. Good to see some familiar faces here competing for the 50 grand, but there are plenty of newcomers giving them a run for their money. Let's get to know Tour Newbie's Team Birmingham and the new faces of golf powered by Under Armour. Team Birmingham, Michael and Zach. Okay, so this is your first time here. Is the vibe different here than it was in Birmingham? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. Birmingham's a brand new Top Golf. Really enjoyed it over there, but there's a few more lights here. There's two pools here. Don't think Birmingham had a pool. How did you guys come together? A sandwich brought us together. Mini to our event several years ago. I needed a sandwich at the turn. Took 30 minutes, lost my place in line. 
went to the T. This guy's sitting there waiting. That's about all she wrote. Friends from then. Oh, yeah. He comes on family vacations and all that kind of good stuff. So we're, we're good buddies. Well, a sandwich brought them together and could possibly win them $50,000 in the championship. This year, Top Golf is partnering with the Veteran Golfers Association to host the top scoring military team from all regions. Troy is with our honored guests now. Today I'm here with Big Time and FJ, and they are active duty. How did you guys prepare to hit the targets today? Just try to calm our nerves like we do when we're flying and get out there and swing the clubs. I like that. So there's no nerves today at all. Well, there's always nerves. You have to use those to, to your advantage. But uh, like you said, I mean, we've dropped bombs. We've landed behind a ship in the middle of the night. So we're used to what it's like for real life danger and nerves. But we can calm them down and be ready to go. Well, it's a special honor to have you here. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> We are halfway through round one here at Top Golf Las Vegas. Let's check out the leaderboard powered by Dell Technologies to see who is starting strong. Don't forget the top four teams at the end of round one automatically advance to the quarterfinals, but we're only halfway there, and right now early favorites Team Kansas City have claimed first place at the top of the game one leaderboard, but it's been a close match with only three points separating them and second place Team Birmingham with Team Denver and Nashville trailing close behind. All right, so after game one, Team Denver is sitting in third place. What's your strategy now to try and secure your quarterfinals? Hit the wedges close early and uh, free things up going, going into the later shots. So I hit them right at the flag and see what happens. All right, so Team Denver is going to play aggressive and try and secure their spot in game two. I'm here with Team Kansas City checking in after game one. Okay, Chris and Kevin. What's the game plan for game two? To do as well as we did in game one. We didn't miss a target. Is there any pressure to stay in the lead? Of course there's always pressure to stay in the lead, but I think we just got to keep hitting good golf shots and stay on top of the leaderboard. Well, good luck in game two, and I'm sure I'll check back in with you. Back to the leaderboard, we see that Team Charlotte has gained a lot of momentum, landing just shy of that cut line in fifth place, thanks to an amazing tour first, which is our top performance of the day, presented by Audi. All right, Mark, well, you did something no one else did today. You got a hole in one. I did. I pulled out an eight iron. I felt a little right to left wind, and, you know, I hit it. Wind got it, and next thing I knew, everybody was cheering, and we had 80 points. It was a perfect shot. Right when he hit it, I knew it was in. So, and yes, he's buying drinks, everybody. For all y'all. For all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for mine. Well, that was a remarkable shot, and there are several teams putting up a strong showing, but the day's not over yet, Kenzie. Shane, there's a lot of golf left. I've played in a lot of tournaments, and let me tell you, it's not over until the final ball is recorded on the scorecard. A lot of shuffling can happen, and of course, that final ball is worth triple than Top Contender Elite. Let's head back to the bays for more action. are getting intense down here and I haven't quite made any predictions because all the teams are really really good I made my predictions for New Jersey they won I made my predictions for Vegas they won so I think if I pick a team they might win but that would be unfair the pressure may be on in that second game but that isn't gonna stop these players from having a little bit of fun and it's okay if it's at my expense what would he say he has that nice voice. I don't know if I can do that. I'm not going to eat it. He's pretty energetic. Uh, yeah. Should I do the, yeah. I do the hat? Welcome to the Top Golf World Championships. My name is Shane Bacon, and I'm here to introduce Team London. I'm Shane Bacon, here with the Average Pros. Hello, welcome to Top Golf. This is Shane Bacon. <clears throat> Good afternoon. I'm Shane Bacon, coming to you from uh, Top Golf Las Vegas headquarters. We'll see how they do in this year's Top Golf Tour. Look at the waggle there on O'Connor. We are about to hit a final shot to win $50,000. This is for all the bacon, no pun intended. Fantastic. That sounds like a recipe for success. So, back to you. So now to Kinsey. Back to you uh, in the studio. <laughs> That's my best Shane Bacon. Shout out Shane. <laughs> it's not bad guys, I'll give you that, but I'll announce and you guys play. So I'm with Duncan and Dave from London. What's the strategy for winning out here? Just have solid golf swings. It's all about hitting it straight. We're both a little bit jet lagged, so we would love just to come out hot get in the first tee, and then go to bed. That's the strategy. All right, guys, well, good luck. I hope the trip was worth it. All right, I'm with some more familiar faces, Jesse and Channing. They are local boys. They won the Las Vegas Regional. Do you feel you have an advantage over the field because this is your home turf? 
I hope so. Wind's picking up today, so it's going to kind of play into our favor being that we've practiced in this wind before. Uh, so hopefully that helps uh, bring home Lady Luck. You guys look calm and collected. Yeah, no, no nerves. We just do what we do. We belong here and we can win this thing. All right, you heard it, Shane. They are confident and they are ready to take home the 50 grand. We're nearing the end of game two. Let's take a look at the tour leaderboard powered by Dell Technologies. The newcomer Team Birmingham made it to the top and will definitely be moving on to the quarterfinals along with Team Denver who has consistently been towards the top all day long. But several teams still have their final triple point ball left as they battle it out to get above the cut line and secure a quarterfinal spot. Team Vegas is in sixth place. Let's see if they can score enough on their last ball to advance. Here's Channing on ball 20. He needs to get at least seven points to get into that top four. Big shot there for 27 points, and that moves them up into third place, which is currently above the cut line, but there are still a few more balls to play. Kansas City got bumped down to fourth place, but they still have one more ball to go to secure their spot in the quarterfinals, and here they are with their ball 20. A safe shot to the Brown target for those 21 points, enough to move them to third place and into the quarterfinals, but that bumps Las Vegas down. Let's see if they can hold on to the fourth spot as Charlotte takes their last shot of the day. If Charlotte can get 23 or more on their shot, they can jump into fourth place and move on to the quarterfinals. Great shot to the trench for 27 points. That's enough to move them into fourth place and into the quarterfinals. A tough break though for local Vegas team who were so close but just missed the cutoff by five points. A big congrats to our top four teams, Birmingham, Denver, Kansas City, and Charlotte, who all move on. Troy is down with our quarterfinalists now. You're automatically going into the quarterfinals. How do you guys feel? Yeah, pretty fired up, uh, fortunate to get through. Our strategy kind of changed on our last ball. Uh, we went to the, the third target instead of the trench just to try to get some points on the board. So, he got a little scared. We, we got a little, oh, got a little. I didn't get scared. We just wanted to get some points. And well, the competition is fierce. Last year's winners are nervous. Uh oh. Well, we will see them in the quarterfinals. All right. After round one, you guys hit an incredible shot to secure your spot in the quarterfinals. Mark, Matt, talk me through it. So I just kind of set up just right at the trench, and I figured I hit a little three iron in there. Wind kind of got it, and then, I don't know, I was pretty confident over it. It was good. You knew you had to make that that last ball. You know, there's always nerves, but that's why we're here. That's honestly why we want to be here. It's it, That's why we play. Well, the good news, there's another round, and another chance for the 19 remaining teams to advance to the quarterfinals and compete for the Top Golf Tour Championship title and $50,000. The action, well, it's just starting to heat up with much more to come. For Kenzie O'Connell and Troy Mullins, I'm Shane Bacon. We'll see you next time for round two of the 2018 Top Golf Tour Championship. <laughs>